I was born in Cape Town, South Africa and raised in a small fishing village. I've grown up in the ocean. Boating, surfing, snorkeling, fishing. As a young boy, when I'd see the local fishermen rowing out in their small wooden boats, I would run down to the beach barefoot, into the surf, grab the nets and help pull in their catch. I just love being in the water and a part of the action. We moved to Australia in 2008. My passion for angling was again reignited after remaining dormant for many years. Yes, take your time. Today, my angling interests are pretty specific. Lures only, top water column, spinning for pelagics, mostly land-based, open ocean marks. That's what I really enjoy. Although recently, I've done some incredible reef boat trips, and this is growing on me fast. About two years ago, while I was fishing south of Sydney, I turned up to a fairly well-known ledge with almost every lure under the sun. I landed only one tiny bonito that day. While the Maori fishermen literally standing next to me succeeded with an endless stream of multiple pelagics. I was properly schooled that day. From that moment though, I became obsessed with this ancient Maori fishing technique known as the cocoa rig or Maori rig. The tradition, challenge, and effectiveness of it, the excitement of the surface column visual strike. My obsession quickly turned to education and experimentation. I started making various configurations of the coca rig and fished them profusely to test their effectiveness. And I started catching a lot of fish. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Well done, mate. Right? Many anglers started approaching me on the ledges, asking what I was using and where they could buy this new rig. This inspired me to move up a few gears. The word Amanzi in the African Zulu language means water, and this was the start of the Amanzi Lures project. Long story short, I embarked on a mission to improve the traditional Maori cocoa rig. Over this 18 month period of relentless experimentation, research and development, prototyping and testing, I've learnt an entirely new craft. I also started learning about various materials. However, the one that really struck a chord with me is HDPE, high density polyethylene. The reason for my infatuation is that this is what everyday plastic milk bottles are made from. So what if I could prove the value of recycling by using plastic milk bottles as a source of materials to make lures that could catch giant pelagics? Reducing, repurposing, reusing, recycling. I'm very passionate about this. Using the Amanzi Lures project, I want to demonstrate what can be achieved by recycling materials. Like many, the ocean has a very special place in my heart. And the ocean is the often unsung hero of our planet's very well-being. For example, did you know that the ocean absorbs 90% of the excess heat in our climate system and absorbs 23% of global carbon dioxide emissions? Up to 12 million metric tons of plastic enters the ocean every year. That equates to one dumpster truck of plastic every minute of every day, costing the industry an average of 13 billion US dollars annually to clean up. 80% of holidays are at coastal locations. 57 million jobs are provided by marine fisheries globally. And 50% of the world's protein is sourced from the ocean. Ocean plastic pollution is a harrowing, growing tidal wave. And at our current run rate, 
by the year 2050, the ocean will be home to more plastic than fish. So I decided to set up this YouTube channel as a means to achieve a few objectives. Firstly, to bring awareness to the growing global pandemic of ocean plastic pollution. Secondly, to demonstrate the utility and importance of repurposing and recycling materials. Thirdly, to bring awareness to our great sport of angling. If I can help to get more people, and especially kids, into our sport and away from computers, that would be great. And lastly, to serve as somewhat of a creative outlet for me personally, just to have fun while documenting this incredible journey, capturing those very special touch point moments with nature. And so this channel will be a collection of series. Each series will comprise a number of episodes and each series will include two key themes. Firstly, a lure challenge and secondly, a target species challenge. The lure challenge will be my quest to design and manufacture by hand a certain type of lure that I will then use to target a predetermined species. The first series, titled Plastic to Pelagics, comprises seven episodes filmed over a nine-month period in 2022 at various locations on the east coast of Australia. My challenge is to hand make a lure sourced from everyday plastic milk bottle HDPE material and catch a giant pelagic. Target species, long-tailed tuna, Spanish mackerel, and giant trevally. With the goal being to demonstrate the value, effectiveness, and importance of recycling. I really hope you enjoy watching this series as much as I've enjoyed making it. Filmed in some of the world's most breathtaking locations, the series exposes the highs and lows across seven epic angling adventures. And if you're watching this, Chances are that you too have a love for the ocean and care about its protection. I implore you to be an ocean guard. Lean in and protect. Be a part of the much needed counterwave to ensure that ocean plastic pollution isn't the victor and that our magnificent ocean playground is preserved for generations to come. <laughs>